In 2023, we became the new owners of an abandoned farm in central Portugal. Follow our story of resilience, growth and the pursuit of a more sustainable and fulfilling way of life. Together we'll celebrate the beauty of nature, the joy of learning and the wonders that await as we embrace the Portuguese culture and create our own unique escape within the breathtaking landscape. Good morning to you too, Walt. There you go, have a stick. Um, it's another lovely day, but all the work that's been going on, we have a very, very messy environment, so let's sort that. So, in three, two, one. Well, we haven't quite finished, have we, Walt? But I've been spending the day taking the stump out of here, which was actually quite a big, big stump, and then grading this, this ground down. Um, so basically, um, there's a bit of a ditch here, and then the hay sort of went up to about here. So I've broken up all the stones, moved them up to the top of the land, and then tried to give this a bit of a nicer, a nicer slope. I'm not sure how it'll come across on camera, but it looks the same gradient as the rest of the land, rather than just a, a big um, roller coaster. But in doing so, something really frustrated me. So. Anyone who's watched from this very start will know that when I moved all the hay out of the barn and dumped it here, I pulled lots and lots of string out um, that would bind the hay or the straw. But then this is everything I found in just this small pile of hay here. Um, so there's absolutely, like, it's just preposterous really, the amount of string that is used in agriculture. And this isn't, it's not twine, it's it's plastic so yeah it's really it really made me think is there something that can be developed to make it more sustainable because that's just that gets put into the ground every single day and it's just not good for the environment whatsoever so yeah lots more to do broken up this this old window here so i'm going to take these big chunks um, away and then try and grade this ground slightly more but i'll tie this up make just make it a bit of a nicer area i think we're too early in the year to grass seed but um i'll let the wildflowers grow because they have some amazing flowers they um they seem to shut up shop for the night every day but here's one that's still open i don't know what this is but it's absolutely fantastic so we have these amongst these and also some um daisies can't see any now but yeah it's lovely but yeah that's my vent for the day this string is there an alternative because this is bizarre anyway let's get back to it come on well that's a little bit better all the weeds gone the grounds not level but it's sort of graded a bit better a bit more pleasing to walk on it's starting to get a bit tardier um, now I need to move the lawnmower and cut the grass because although we've got big patches of dirt we also have grass around the edge growing quite tall so yeah just need to make it a bit neater and get some plants in the ground just so it feels a bit more like home hey well a bit more like home <laughs> Guys, uh, not the best news. Sophia is basically she was due to come back tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, but the horse is going to be loaded onto the box to come here, which is exciting, on Tuesday or Wednesday. So it makes no sense for her to come back when she may be needed. Hey, bird. When she may be needed. So um, I went to do a bit of retail therapy, aka got some posts, some soil and we're going to plant some plants. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the back We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed. It was 
was a mutual arrangement we both saw into. But can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have been? Broke my arm in December. We were running for the thrill. You turned in. There we go. Just so you guys know, it's not a raised bed. I'm not going to be filling up the um, soil up to that level. It's just like, if anything, like a little fence, just to stop this pesky little one eating all the vegetables, eh? He looks so innocent there. But yeah, just a bit of an enclosed space. We can, um, I bought um, little papaya tree, so maybe we can plant that. We can plant some of the favors that I planted the favors behind me, but these were the seedlings that hadn't come up yet, and they all seem to, they've got such a great germination rate. So I'll plant these, and I'll plant some tomatoes. So that'll be the plan. morning lovely people it is the 19th of june so it's my mom's birthday so happy birthday mom um but she's actually over in portugal this week so um i'm going to go and see her very shortly um it's a bit early though so i'm going to quickly clean in here because i've left somewhat of a mess the floor is covered in render hopefully it comes up pretty easily um, but i'm going to clear out of here give it a sweep and then we can restart to finish the um the compost toilet and then have a look at starting the um the shower tray um no one really gave me any recommendations on how to do this so i might have to slightly wing it i have some ideas but yeah it'll be if it doesn't work we'll just put a shower tray in so um, nothing venture nothing game but let's clear this out a little bit um it's good that i'm doing this before sophia is back because i think she'd um maybe not approve of the amount of mess i've made but it had to be done it was very hard to get render on the wall being neat but let's tidy up here this is looking very white and the weather has been shutting down So if you are thinking about moving to Portugal, it's not all sunshine. Um, I think this year is a little bit of an anomaly 
we've had rain usually I think at this time of year from June onwards there's no rain but we've had rain sort of once every two or three weeks uh, which has kept the grass nice and green um, obviously the bit that was cut is all a bit yellow still but there's green grass popping through which is perfect for the horse and I don't know if I mentioned this before but we have confirmation on the horse coming so I think it'll be in about a week and a half which means that by the next video or the video after you'll see a horse which is oh, fantastic I'm super excited so I am um, I can only imagine how excited Sophia is I think you'll come up. I just need, um, maybe I'll try some water. that wasn't the most ideal situation having to put loads of water down but um, we're close to putting a roof on now the render is all up there and dry uh, painted so I can put some battens across and get this roof on um, let's see if it works uh, but right now I'm going to tidy up and go meet my mum I'm going to go to um, around the castle and Tamar and over the next few days go to maybe the beach and a few other nice places so um had a few people ask me why um why this area why portugal and we fell in love with the area so um i'll take you along and show you some of the places that made us think this is it for us so um yeah hope you enjoy
of the many river beaches around the uh, the river by us and um, it's not the best weather again today it's not the best week to showcase these that sort of areas but I just want to show you how crystal clear the water is we just feel so privileged to live in such a such, such a nice environment this crystal clear water sometimes you'll see like small fish or small shrimp in here but ice cold as well absolutely beautiful but a lot of the river beaches around here have like these what do you call it a lido a lido where you can have a little swim but living quite rurally it's super super quiet absolutely stunning so yeah when Sophia's back maybe come here on a, a warmer day and show you in the sunshine So, I wasn't very hopeful at all that we would get olives this year because the trees had been massively neglected and they need a lot of work, but I'm looking at them now. And I can see big clusters of olives forming. Some here. Everywhere I'm looking, I'm seeing some big bunch over there. So, I don't know if this is just the one tree. Let's go to another one, but this is exciting. I um this may seem silly, but the aim is I'd love to get um yeah look Oh that's amazing news Walt it's amazing isn't it come on so um we use about half a litre of olive oil a week so 26 litres we have about 26 trees so how many kilos of olives do we need to make one litre of oil maybe like five kilos is that achievable on older trees well this tree is definitely not going to give us that much <laughs> um is it Walt? but then we have some bigger trees which may give us more so yeah if you if any of you guys are new to portugal or well, anywhere in europe really and have olive trees let us know what what you sort of yield per tree because our trees are like has walked going mad like uh, you can see them there this one's a little quite a big one needs a lot of pruning but they're all i'd say medium sized it is beautiful so on camera this field probably looks very yellow but um since it's been cut definitely getting some green popping through which is very very nice but Today's task is actually counterproductive. Today's task is to actually try and kill some grass. So, um, here's all our trees over here. A little raised bed here, and I want to put a, a few in. Um, and I need an area where I'm going to put a tarp down to kill some grass so we can plant some, some more vegetables this sort of um, the back end of summer and winter. It looks like we might have a little. Is this from a mole or is that from ants? Hmm. So I'm not quite sure what I'm thinking. Possibly here. But I'll put you guys on time lapse. And I'll drag it over. It's quite a big tarp, so it may take a little bit of um of uh, manoeuvring. It's I think it's 12 meters by 8 meters. But let's give it a go. Um also the tires that are around the trees. I'll be using those to weight down. Um, obviously, thanks for all the advice. There is some toxicity in tyres. I don't want to leave them by um, like fruit trees for too long. They were just to sort of, they were mainly so I didn't run them over with the um, with the uh, ride on. But now I know where they are. They're quite well established. Let's use them to weigh this type down. But quickly, these are all the pear trees, and 
Look at this. We're not far off having pears. I think August is pear season. So another good few weeks, but I need to um, strim all around these trees, free them up a bit. Because we have a lot of vines in there as well. You can start to see some grapes. So yeah, lots of good produce ahead. But for now, let's make this patch. Walty, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I lost some crock in the process. I think I need some more tyres. But it's quite a big size. Um, it's a big top. It's what I bought when I had the roof delivered. So, um, just to cover it and keep it dry. I just wish I had um, a drone. I could send it up and show you guys the aerial view. Um, Google Earth hasn't updated yet, so when it does, I'll show you to give you a bit, bit of a better idea. Ah, well, hopefully, I'm not sure how long it takes to kill the grass. Maybe like three or four months. Maybe in the summer here, it would, it would happen a lot, lot faster. But um, in the meantime, I'll see if I can find any more tyres or just something to weigh it down. I've got a few beehives I can maybe use, um, or some bricks. And just yeah. Hopefully, in a few months' time, this gets peeled back and we have a lovely big dirt area. We can start to plant some, probably some like winter vegetables, like um, squashes, potatoes, cabbages. Um, any suggestions, let me know. Um, not too sure what's good to grow over winter. Um, I want to plant some carrots, but I think we have root vegetables. If that is a, a vole or a mole there, then um, that might be the question. But we're getting there, aren't we, Walt? So guys, anyone who's new to the channel may not have seen inside the house. It's a big, big mess. It needs a lot of work. The roof needs to come off. We need to make a new ring beam and really reinforce because it's very, I'd say it's, not structurally integral but let me show you the bits that I can show you safely so this is one of the entrances this is like traditionally probably the back door but this was the old kitchen area here which again you won't come across in camera but the floor is a little bit spongy and um, basically the roof is the roof is not far from coming down so some beams seem okay <laughs> Some seem very, very bad. Oh. It almost looks like someone just one day just decided to leave. There's all even pots and pans in the cupboard still. So this was the old living room here. And as you can see, <laughs> it's all bowing here. Um, the beams, it may be a bit dark here, but the beams on the roof are all failing because water's coming in. It's all, <laughs> look at the angle of that. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> and this is where I think historically this is where the leak started and the roof got wet, the floor above got wet and everything fell through down to the Adega so not the safest of areas um, yeah at this point I'm not too sure what's holding the house together so um, through here I'm going to take a very gentle footing and this GoPro doesn't pick up the light very well so you may not see too much, but yeah, the roofs. Well, you can see daylight through the ceiling, which is, is never a good thing. But yeah, the roof just completely failed. Um, cracks everywhere. I think this wall's detaching from the building, so we need to really get this looked at pretty soon. Um, so yeah, we have got a lot of decisions to make about this this building, but. Um, do we keep it? Do we have to take it down? Even take the roof off and go lower than the roof level? The roof level? Can it be rebuilt? I'm not entirely sure right now. Um, but it's not a lovely plot of land. So, guys, um, I'll show you the Adagas in a moment. There's two big rooms downstairs. Lots and lots of work. So this is the back of the house, really. So you would historically, well, this would have been just the back door from the kitchen to get to the land, 
So this is where all the trees are. And the front door is here, right by the little pond area. So that's where I showed you the roof coming through that side. So that's the way you'd walk in. But we're going to change the whole layout regardless. So um, can it be recovered? You tell me. So guys, this is in one of the, the Yudagi room. So on the bottom of the building. Um, so we were just above here. So you can see the beautiful stonework. <laughs> it needs a lot of work. Um, it's been somewhat reinforced at some point, but I am still really worried about the structure of this building. It definitely needs some work pretty soon. Um, but the sheer stone that's here, it's just, it looks amazing. But like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of work ahead of us. A lot of work. But um, could be a, a good bedroom down here. And there's one more room over here. So let's, let's have a little look over there. I'll just shut the door behind me. Not that it's doing anything. So you can see the house behind me. This is the roadside. So you'll see we were just up here. That's where the roof was bowing. And then we're just under there. So this room's a bit smaller, but it's got some beautiful stonework in as well. So let's have a look. So again, maybe a tad dark in here, but lovely sheer stone. And there's a little, little sort of opening here, which is by the stairs that we walked into the house. So here could this be a little storage area? Could it be an ensuite to the, the bedroom through there? Right now it's just a wreck, but <laughs> um, it's gonna be hard for a lot of people to see what we could do here, but if you have a creative mind, it could be great. I'm not sure our pockets stretch to us towards the work that needs to be done though, so we're going to need to do a, a lot of work over the next few years. But yeah, that's the sort of quick tour of the house. Let me know if you think we're absolutely insane or if you can see the potential that it has. Lots of work ahead. Now we're just under the, the massive sweet chestnut tree. It's just, it's beautiful. It's just so... Oh, it's fantastic. And then this is the barn. So the barn, I wouldn't know how many, maybe 25, 30 meters long. Um, and it wants to be rendered. We put a big wooden door here with maybe some lovely glass in and get permissions to put windows down here. And then it's quite dark in here, so I'm not sure if you'd see much. But the moment is where the wine barrels are stored, the truck is stored, a lot of junk is stored. Um, but you can see the beautiful schist stone walls down here. It's about seven meters wide, maybe even eight, and about 12 meters down here. So this could be a lovely living room, um, kitchen environment. And then the next room could be a bedroom. And then the next room could be like a bathroom area. Um, I'll try and get at some point some plans made up so you can see what our vision is. It's very hard to see when there's just rooms full of junk, but really big, big high ceilings. Obviously we need to get a new roof on here too, but yeah, massive potential. But lots of potential, lots of effort, lots of money, but um, I'm sure we'll figure something out. And then this room um, could be where we maybe put the bathroom. And again, lovely, lovely sheer stone and then on the back of this wall, there's a, a big barn door in the ceiling, probably historically where they push um, hay into carts maybe, but um, maybe we'll put a lovely stained glass window there as well to let loads of light in, because here's the, here's the window here, or the door I suppose, a lovely big window there letting light into a bathroom and the sun rises just over here, so it could be lovely. And then we're thinking this could be a lovely, um, a lovely carport and a lovely sort of garage so lots and lots of work ahead um i think when we first bought the place we were probably quite naive thinking we could do it for x amount of budget i think it's going to actually be a lot more than uh, we first thought so that does massively change the time scales but uh, we've got a lot of time to be here so we'll do bit by bit but first of all the cow shed then this barn, 
and then we can think about the house. But I do think very soon we'll get a company in to look at the roof on here and here just to make it safe whilst we take our time to do the work. But that's it folks, that's that's the the quick tour of the house, so let us know what you think. And here's our little tractor. Good evening guys. Um what a random video we had this week. We've had a bit of gardening, we've had a bit of looking at the house, looking at Tamar. Yeah, hopefully you don't feel like we were too here, there and everywhere. But um, it's been a very busy week. Sophia's back in England, lots of little things going on. My mum's here, which is fantastic, for her birthday, which was yesterday. My birthday is on Sunday. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a mad one, so um, hopefully it was enjoyable to watch. But thank you for watching. Um, we're not a massive channel. We reach, you know, five to 10,000 people a week, which is brilliant. We, we love that people, people watch these things. But, um, but yeah, thanks for being here for the journey and thanks for the advice and the comments. So, um, so yeah, please keep commenting. We try and comment, we try and reply back to every message. Um, I think we do. Um, I don't even missed one yet. And we love the interaction, so any advice you think you want to pass on to us, please send it through. Um, any polls or wisdom, send them across. And any just, if you've got any questions, um, we're happy to answer them. I try and show the place as I think you guys want to see it, but I may miss things. So if there's things you want to see, please, please ask. And yeah, just thanks for supporting the channel. Um, every comment, every like, every every subscribe, it really, really does help. Um, I think with the projects we have ahead, I think we need every little bit out we can get. But honestly, thank you so much. Um, finally, Walt, do you have anything you want to tell the good people? You want to tell them? <coughs> oh. He said subscribe, but guys, see you next week. Have a lovely weekend.